This is uh, Chipping Norton Soccer Club, uh, South Park. Uh, this is where it all started for me. Follow me and I'll uh, give you a look. This wall, um, after, before every game, pretty much one touch, two touch with, I don't know, my brother, my sister, some teammates. Um, so there's a few memories, just smacking it against the wall. The senior field on my right and the, the minis on my left pretty much uh, where I played every second week in the under sevens and under eights. My dad was the coach as well. He didn't really have a set position. I uh, was a natural defender I think from a, from a young age but um, but yeah this is um, a special place for me. I remember also being a young kid um, you know always wanting to hang around the canteen and that as well so I used to help clean up and pick up rubbish and and my reward would be a, uh, a free 50 cent bag of lollies. This club is, is, is massive for me. I mean, you never ever forget your first club. Um, and this is legit where it all started for me. So I'll never ever forget this place. This is uh, the, the field uh, where I played pretty much all of my games for the under sevens and eights. I think a few goals on here. I remember one, it was a pretty long range shot just, uh, just inside halfway. So um, that one sticks out, but um, it's, it's a long way to come to play, to play here and to play my first games here and, and now to, um, to be involved in my first ever Sydney derby on the weekend, um, representing my club, representing you know, Western Sydney. It's, um, it's, gonna, it's, 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 it's a huge honour. I think it's going to be a, a cracker of a match, a lot of, a lot of passion, uh, an intense game. It's a derby, so uh, an East versus West, it's, uh, it's a big game, it's probably the biggest derby in Australian sport. This is the change rooms for uh, the club where we used to get ready. The home and away brings back memories. This is the former president, Ross Anderson. At the time that BJ was playing here in the, in the minis, it tended to be set up that you'd, you'd have a few outstanding players who you, you'd always see in the thick of the action. And BJ was, was probably one of those. Uh, Brendan came down and did a session for us last year when he was injured with one of the one of the teams and the kids were just not only did they do everything he told them to do, which is exactly the opposite to what happened in the cage, <laughs> um, but they were buzzing about it for weeks afterwards. It's it's tremendous to have players who who give back. And to still be in contact and have a, such a good relationship with the club now, it's um, for me it's you know it's something I'll never ever forget my first football club and um, you know, it's, a, it's a special place here for me. I right, make sort of sitting in a circle on the tier um, and being at the derby and, and being on the pitch <laughs> and, uh, and seeing, you know, seeing the, oh, the, the passion in the crowd um, as well as on the field. It's, it's a big thing, everybody, the banter is, is heavy. I know our banter in the last couple of weeks has been, been heavy, I've threatened to to trip PJ up as he runs down the tunnel on you know, Saturday night. You know, I'm proud of him, he's a chippo boy. And, and that's what I love, the fact that he still thinks he's a chippo boy. He's said to me before. So to, to have somebody that proud to be a, a member of our club, so, you know, it's a great thing.